we had Ebola, all right? Now we are facing the challenges of COVID. It's interesting to me how uh, technology is playing such a role in both the solution to the problems, but also in how we've adjusted to it. Could you comment on those kinds of issues, especially as they confront Africa? We were sort of prepared for COVID because of Ebola. And that's because, you know, the way that we managed Ebola was very, to use your words, was very data driven. It was very data driven in the sense that even during the Ebola uh, crisis, there was a lot of the, the, track, the, 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 the track and trace that Lagos State was using, even though many people didn't, didn't, uh, didn't realize. It was really around collecting data, a lot of data around where people were, where the disease was and what the impact and all that was. So that experience really, in a sense, prepared us for, for COVID. But not well enough, to be honest, because I think that if, if COVID um, was as deadly as it was in other parts of the world, we really wouldn't have, really wouldn't have survived. But, but I think that what is happening now with technology and health, I think it's, it's addressing some of the major challenges that we're faced with as a, as a country when it comes to health. There are challenges around uh, fake drugs, there are challenges around drug distribution. There are challenges around the doctor to patient ratio. There are challenges around the cost of health. And so most people are having to pay uh, for, their, for their health um, needs out of their pocket. There's no health insurance. And we're seeing the way that technology is solving many of these problems. We're seeing the way that we're using um, RFID to test whether a drug in a, in, a, in a box is a fake one or a real one. We're using technology to really be able to um, distribute drugs to where it's needed. So using um, put it now? mobile ordering systems, inventory management systems to ensure that pharmacies are well stocked and you're getting the drugs to them at the right time. Telemedicine is becoming, because of COVID and the distance and everything, for, the, for, the, um, for other parts of the world, what it helped to solve was the fact that I don't want to go to a hospital because I don't want to catch COVID. But in this part of the world, what is solving is that we don't have enough doctors. And so people have to travel miles to see doctors. And so now we have all these telemedicine uh, um, uh, companies where you can actually see a doctor on a screen because apparently 80% of diagnosis can be done without having to actually physically um, examine the patient. So we're seeing technology really help us. It's accelerated because of COVID, but I think that the, the problems of access, the problems of quality, the problems of drugs, we're really using technology to solve those problems. And I honestly believe that health is one area where technology is gonna play a major role to help us solve you know, some of the really big challenges that we have in, the, in this country where people are dying needlessly because they've either taken a fake dog or they haven't seen a doctor quickly enough or they got the wrong diagnosis.